Hi guys, Coach Uttar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how the normal activity navigation is a little bit more trickier to implement than the special activity navigation. It all boils down to declaring which particular activity is the parent activity so that when the back key is hit, you know which particular activity you need to navigate to. Not only just that, when you trigger the notification details activity, you need to trigger it with the proper activity back stack. To do that, we will be using task stack builder. And as you may guess, it will be doing the task of creating a necessary activities into the stack when the actual navigation from the notification happens. So let's get down and see how this whole thing is actually implemented. Let's assume that you have a main activity and then you want to trigger the notification details activity from the main activity and when you hit the back button you want to basically go back to the main activity this is done by declaring main activity is the parent activity of notification details activity now assuming that if you hit back on the notification details activity and if you don't want to go to main activity rather you want to go to another intermediate activity then you will have to declare the intermediate activity as the parent activity of notification details activity. This is typically done through manifest file when we declare an activity in the manifest file. We will have a look at that a bit later. Now the main question is how to use task stack builder. To understand that let's have a look at the old code base of triggering the notification. There is nothing new here. You are already familiar with this. However, have a look at the updated code to create the pending intent. Most of it looks pretty similar, but however, as they say, they will lies in the details. After creating the intent in the first line, what I actually do is I create an instance of task stack builder. And then in the third line, I invoke add next intent with parent stack on the task stack builder and I pass the intent as the argument. So basically what this does is whatever the target activity that needs to be triggered with that particular intent, it will not only add that activity, it will also add any of the parent activities that are declared to that particular activity in the back stack. So the declaration of parent activity in the manifest file and task stack builder work hand in hand together to basically create this normal activity navigation. So once the task stack builder is initialized with the appropriate intent, the next part is creating the pending intent. And once again, here we are using task stack builder to create the pending intent. If you compare this line with the last line in the previous old code, you can see that in the previous code, we were using pending intent from the activity. But in this case, we are getting hold of the pending intent from the task stack builder. I think we are done with enough of theory let's see this in action in a code this is the same code base that i had just shown you in the discussion some time back where we are using task stack builder to create stack of the activities that need to be created when you hit the back button but the main part of this particular logic is in the manifest file and if you see here here is the notification details activity and i have declared parent activity name and i have written the fully qualified name for the notification details activity and right now intermediate activity is the parent activity for the notification details activity and if you go to the declaration of the intermediate activity for that parent activity is main activity which is activity from which we are triggering the notification you might be wondering what is this use of metadata where also we seem to be declaring the parent activity well this particular attribute parent activity has been introduced from Android SDK version 16 and if you want to make this particular parent activity concept work in any previous version of Android other than 16 that is say 15 14 then you need to use this meta tag it pretty much does the same thing for the older versions of Android so you have to use the parent tag attribute in this fashion using the metadata tags and value is it is the same value that you would have provided for the parent activity you have declared the parent 
different activities and when you are triggering the notification you are using the task stack builder and now when you go to the application and when you trigger the notification you will see the notification click on the notification you are going to see the notification details activity but however when you click back you go to an intermediate activity and then when you click back on the intermediate activity you are going to the main activity all this happened because in the manifest file i had declared the appropriate parent activity name attributes and when i triggered the notification i had used task stack builder and this is all that is there that you need to know about how to implement normal activity navigation that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye